Kansas City, home to a pair of championship winning sports franchises. But for how much longer? Chiefs and Royals fans may have to pay up to get their hometown teams to stick around. We need you. A vote in Jackson County, Missouri this week asked residents if they'd be willing to use taxpayer money for stadium upgrades that will entice the clubs to stay. This would come in the form of a sales tax over the next 40 years. Every year, the tax will cost an average of $115 for each adult living in the area, amounting to $54 million in annual taxpayer money. The county tax is expected to total $2 billion. That money would go toward a new downtown ballpark for the Royals and renovations to Arrowhead Stadium for the Chiefs. Improvements, the two franchises say, will bring $2 billion back to the local community every year. But if the vote doesn't pass, both teams have floated the possibility of a departure from Kansas City. If the vote fails on Tuesday, we will have to consider all of our options. Yeah, I would say the same thing. The sales tax at the center of all this is actually already in effect until 2031, after originally being passed in 2006. What the owners are seeking is a repeal of the current law to replace it with a tax that would last another four decades. Those campaigning against this plan have been outspent by the Chiefs and Royals at a 20 to 1 margin. But these opposition groups say they're still winning the battle on the ground and rallying people who don't support public subsidies for billionaire owners. I am a lifelong Chiefs and Royals fan, and that's been hard for me to reconcile because these teams who have brought us together as a community for so many years are ripping mine apart. Their message to Jackson County residents, don't let the owners hide a bad deal behind good players. Should the vote go in favor of the teams, though, the Royals want their new ballpark ready for opening day 2028, while the Chiefs look to finish Arrowhead renovations by the start of the 2031 season.